Hey guys, VBED here with another V plays, and we're here taking out the TU-12. We finally fully upgraded it, so the bottom gunner is also upgraded, and the forward firing gun. Not that that really adds a whole lot to this, but hopefully it'll give us enough oomph to be able to do this escort mission, as we gotta bring in these bombers and take out the air defense sites because we're going to lack a lot of offensive capability for being able to shoot down planes. We're going to have to rely on our ability to influence the battlefield in other ways. The enemy team has a 109TL and a Yak-15, so I think we're, yeah, we're it for tier 9s on the team, so, oh, hi. See if we can find the biggest, most dangerous site. We'll drop a double bomb here and a double bomb here, and then we're gonna leave the area. We'll hop into our tail gunner, kick that nose up. We do have a target on us. TA152 definitely wants to give chase, that's fine. We can see that 20 doing some serious damage, managed to take out his engine and his pilot, which is good for us. Bad for him, obviously. We'll be reloaded shortly and we can come back in for another bomb drop. We are under attack from that heavy. We're gonna go ahead and leave the area. Head over to this next zone and see what we can do for dropping some bombs. We'll let the cooldown on the engine start right now. Looking for the big hefty sights. Wing is back up, that's good. Always good to get that maneuverability. I've learned that I should delay my nose drop now we'll drop the nose to there and to here and let's go ahead and pull up I think that's the first time I've actually got to see the rounds or the bombs come out of the aircraft oh, almost took out the whole site unfortunately we did not finish it off but I believe we took out one of the major guns in fact now that I'm thinking about it it's not about flipping the site it's about taking out the air defense equipment so That's a lot of damage coming out of that forward gun all of a sudden. I think that we're going to make that P80 Alpha thing twice. Or apparently we pissed him off. Let's do one bomb per target. Hopefully enough to be able to take out what's left of these four major guns. Let's do a drop here. A drop here. A little bit low for that one. And I'm not sure if this is going to work right. Let's go ahead and drop. See if she goes where we want her to. Yes, it did. Perfect. Let's get that cooldown started. Keep maneuvering. Maybe look for a target, oddly enough. And we managed to kill a fighter. Here's the guy who gave us a shout out earlier. Oh, we didn't kill him, but he definitely just died. Let's get in and amongst our allies here. If they're shooting at me, they're not shooting my teammates or my bombers. That's all right, we took a few rounds from that guy. May have ruined his run in. Looks like we may get one across. 
I'm hoping. At the very least, I think that we definitely made an impact. And our score is doing all right. Yep, we got one through. So if it turns out that we actually have 10 waves, which we don't, um, we should be all set, right? <laughs> Taking out the center site will be the most advantageous because the center zone is the one that has two flights going through it. The other one's just kind of sympathetic, if you would. One. Two. Three. And four. We're going to go ahead and start our climb. Is this guy that took me out earlier? I'm not sure. It's not a ton of damage, but it's definitely enough to that it's working and we can tell that it's working. So nobody's over here to stop me from bombing this site, except for <laughs> the AA itself. So let's go ahead and get some speed, dip the nose, and centralize the drop, and center the drop, center the drop, and center the drop. Okay, that should be enough to be able to take out, took out a lot of the heavy artillery. It's not all gone, but we took out a bit of it. We'll be reloaded in 15. That should be plenty of time. The reload is way faster on this aircraft than it is on the tier 10, but we are able to carry eight bombs on the Su-10. I think we got that time and just about perfect. Doing good work with the bombing. Let's get a little bit more altitude again. Start to cool down. Dip that nose and come back in for another run. Let's do a left, right, center. Okay. We got a player in a Yak 15 on us. Oh, we still got some sights down here? Or is this an illusion? I think we definitely attracted the ire of the enemy here. Oh, that zone's refilling, which is why we were seeing a timer on it. It'll be back up in a second, literally. Let's get the nose down, hit that boost. We're probably gonna die here. Let's cause as much damage to the big guns as we can.
Got that target. Bombs are just about back up. Let's really get that target. Do little. Oh, we haven't died yet. <laughs> Interesting. Yep, and we took that zone. Nice, nice, nice. Whew, let's get a little bit of altitude, climb into the vertical here. Whew, what a tough fight. It's hard to be a bomber in this game mode. Uh, I've done it in a B-32, but the B-32, we flew that just a bit differently because we used it as kind of a shield. Here, we're going after ground targets. This is a big beast, but she's fairly nimble for what she is. Okay, we're gonna alternate altitude, kind of doing a porpoising move here until we get over a target, and then we'll just dip that nose down. Miss the one I wanted to go after. We'll go after a light one here. Light, heavy. Let's go for a double on this one. Nah, not quite enough. Let's get a little bit squirrely with our maneuvers here. We want to get some distance, maybe get some direct terrain cover. Let ourselves regen some health. We're not going to have enough time to come back. lost a bomber group so we only got the one bomber flight left essentially the enemy is just about toast so that's good for us we're just guessing here good guesses on the timing excellent 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 let's see if we can take out some aircraft yeah we're going full offensive mode now guys that's all we got can't be the first target that they go after otherwise we're totally toast Whew. Let's see what we can do to slow down. Sorry, went a little silent on you guys. Looks like we may have this, and I'm going to go out and live and say we do. One of those just burned out, unfortunately. Is anybody else going to burn out? Oh, what a great match. Man, I am glad I recorded this one. This was... This was a fight. Let's go through them all. Uh, Conqueror, Thunderer, we got Flying Revenge, uh, Lang Metal, Leg what is it? Winged Legend, Do Little, we've got Predator, I can't even get to you, but yep, uh, Hero of the Sky Badge, uh, Flying Vanguard, whew, and then the Event Metal here, the Red Comet Badge Stage 2. Let's get back to the hangar. Whew. <laughs> uh, I'm actually 
pleasantly surprised by the forward firing gun capability. It is a nice perk to have the bottom gunner also being a 20, which means that I still have the same type of damage even if somebody gets underneath my airframe. And we were able to put out some significant damage, especially when we had some aircraft chasing us, like that TA-152, actually. So that was 31,815 experience for us. Um, well, we got a second skill on our gunner, which is even better. Uh, we're going to be able to get him on target. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to not do that. I'm going to go with burst length because I note that I'm running into issues with burst length. So we'll do that. Um, but yeah, man, what a, what an incredible platform. I, I've been very impressed with it. Um, it is a lot like the P2 M82, but you got a lot more heft to it and you do have quite a bit of speed available to you. Uh, we haven't even fully upgraded these two components because I'm not sure if that's what I want to keep in here or not. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to go with the high speed gas turbine to get that boost because that helps your climb significantly like you'll see here we've got climb rate down at the bottom of the altitude performance on the right hand side and then when i hit this x button you'll see that it drops by 21. Uh, that is a significant drop believe it or not and by allowing allowing this boost capability it allows us to get into the vertical which is something i do a lot in my p2 as well although i think i have yet to do a video on that plane all right, sorry. We're good. We've got the plane. It's doing great work. I've been very impressed with it. Uh, the forward firing gun doesn't seem like it's that good on paper when you take a look at these two compared side by side, but the increased range and the increased rate of fire is what helps it out a lot. The damage doesn't hurt, but definitely that rate of fire. Last time we checked in, we only had this gun upgraded. And then we also had the top engine. But now that we've got the other gun upgraded, it's it's more of the same. It's just going to be in the lower hemisphere. It's exactly the same, except it has a narrow, narrower arc of fire. But seldom is anybody underneath you. They're usually above you based on the way that I fly this as a dive bomber. Whew. All right. I'm willing to bet that the TU-2 and the TU-10 fly in a very similar manner to this platform, and I hope that you guys have the same type of success that I'm having with the style I'm playing it. Um, you know what? I, I had a great time. I really enjoyed this fight. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the battle, and as always, I'll check you on the next one.